All right, just a quick update first. That's coming in from uh, the court in Delhi that's uh, hearing the Delhi gang rape case. The matter has been uh, adjourned for the day. All the five accused were produced in court today. Hearing is over for the day and its uh, next date of hearing has been fixed for Thursday, the 10th of January. What we are learning is that the case has not yet been transferred to a fast track court. Earlier, the court uh, ordered an in camera hearing for this trial. Uh, because uh, there was a, a concern that was voiced by the police as well about the security of the five accused who were brought to court this afternoon produced before a magistrate. The formality is that the charge sheet be handed over to the accused. There was high drama in the courtroom as well because uh, some lawyers, at least a couple of them, uh, volunteered to uh, help defend those accused and others in the Saket Bar Association protested and objected. As of now, uh, there is uh, not a single lawyer which have been appointed to defend the five accused in this matter. But as per the law, one person has to be appointed uh, to defend the five accused in this matter. Remember, this case uh, is also playing out in a juvenile board because the sixth accused in the Delhi gang rape matter is set to be 17 years old. Uh, the uh, juvenile board, in fact, has summoned the person's uh, school principal with documents to prove the age of the sixth accused. There is also a possibility that uh, the juvenile board orders a test to verify uh, the age of the person and uh, in case uh, the, uh, the test suggests that this person is 18 or beyond, then uh, is he becomes an adult and his case can be taken up with the other five accused in the Delhi gang rape matter. We're trying to get in touch with CNN IBN's Parishit Lutra, who's uh, been outside the Saket court as well, along with uh, CNN IBN's Arunodaya Mukherjee. Arunodaya, uh, the matter then has been heard for the day and the next date of hearing is the 10th of January. Uh, that's right. Uh, this is uh, now uh, going to be heard on the 10th of January, and this does not necessarily mean that the trial is set to begin on the 10th of January. This is uh, uh, this is a date that has been set by the court for further proceedings to take place before the trial begins, because we must remember the important observation that uh, has come out of the court is the fact that the case is yet to be transferred to a fast-track court. Once it is transferred to a fast-track court, that is when we can technically say that the trial has begun, following which, because it's a fast-track court, because of the public uh, pressure and the kind of uh, uh, pressure that has been created, uh, we are expecting day-to-day -day hearing in this case. Uh, uh, simultaneously, what is also important to note is the uh, developments that took place at the juvenile court uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 to, to try and verify the age of the sixth accused who claims to be 17 years of age. Uh, the, the, uh, the court is yet to decide on that. What we're told is that uh, a bone ossification test is likely, to be, uh, is likely to be conducted, and that is not going to be able to give out the exact age of the minor uh, uh, or whether he is above 18, but it is going to give a range of uh, what age he, what age group he, he belongs to. Following that, it remains it, it becomes a prerogative of the magistrate to decide whether uh, the sixth uh, person accused should be tried as a minor or a major. These are the basic uh, developments that took place on both sides today. Uh, Arunada, also the magistrate uh, ordering this trial to be in camera essentially means that it's close to public. In camera essentially means uh, that uh, all the uh, all people who are not connected to the case uh, are not going to be allowed on the court premises, and that's a very important decision. Usually in these cases, uh, the press, uh, other lawyers are present in the courtroom when the proceedings do take place. Uh, usually it's a packed courtroom. But in this case, uh, going with the sensitivity of the matter and the kind of public anger that we've seen with the accused, this is more of a security precaution that we can deduce from uh, these developments. Uh, this is something uh, that is always a decision which is which lies with the magistrate who will be hearing the case and uh, this is what they've decided this is going to be in camera and uh, there are strict restrictions for the manner in which uh, the case and the trial needs to be reported in the subsequent days uh, so this is clearly uh, and and what's also interesting is usually uh, the dates that are set by the court uh, you know it doesn't happen uh, in such quick succession this is something that is is happening uh, at a faster pace so that is something that would be encouraging indicative that uh, this is heading towards the fast track court uh, the court today that the matter is going to uh, commute this, commit this to uh, uh, to a sessions court, which is the uh, which is the right court, which is to hear this matter. The sessions court uh, will be looking at this in in uh, 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 as as a as a fast track court, which is going to have day to day hearings All in right. this case. Another thanks for.